Hello thinkers, welcome to this video. I'm eager to refill my discovery on the OEM Iridium Spark Plugs I ordered from USA to you. I've received a couple of comments on the last video anticipating the result in this video. Well, you will pardon me if you feel this is delayed. It takes a whole lot of effort to record, do a voiceover for explanations then, edit it before it can be uploaded to YouTube. Besides, I still have a regular 8 to 4 pm job. YouTube is part time for me until I can make my hands meet for me. So please encourage your friends to subscribe and watch my videos for us all to learn together. Nonetheless, I still try as much as possible to upload at least once a week. If this is your first video on this channel, welcome here. Please consider subscribing to this channel and turn on your notification bell when you do so. In the last video, I tested the spark plugs I used for my two attempts and it failed because you guys already told me those are fake ones. I will also implore you to see the last video to understand how we got here if you have not yet. I also created a playlist for you to see all of my works on this free energy with spark plugs so far. Details in the description below. First of all, I will recommend to you all that you watch this video with an open mind. And like intelligent people that we all are, we will be able to make a conclusion at the end of this video. I hope to make this video conclusive for all of you and not inconclusive, if you get what I mean. I want to take you through a step-by-step -step process and at interval, I will be explaining what I did, why I did what I did and the results. Before we go deep into this, I want to quickly remind you to join our Facebook challenge to stand a chance to win a camera drone. Also, the 25% discount on bandwidth for the portable solar panel is still available and both offers end on 31st of July 2021. So think us, plug in your devices to an electric outlet and let us dive into it. First, we need a LED to test the spark plugs and following your suggestions. I will get one from a touch phone. This is a techno phone that has a very bright LED. It has an issue with the charging port. I figured it will be suitable for this purpose. So I opened it up and got the LED out. Funny enough, the LED seems to be the most valuable stuff in this phone right at the moment. For the test, it's quite simple. Just two, two things: um, resistance and LED. We test all these spark plugs and see. So for the resistance, we take it to the 20k home. Sorry, yeah, this is where we have a 20k home. And in my last video, like I told you, if a if a plug will be adjusted good, it will have between. 4k to 15k home so let's see what we have here with this first plug put the positive here and to the tip so what do we have 5.69 5.70 steady yeah i hope you could see that so this plug does have a resistor in it yeah which makes it the original iridium can you see makes it the original iridium okay that's fine so let's see let's see for others as well you guys will be able to see the the reading because it's a, it's a small screen 
so okay this 4.95 lower to the first one Five point six six. See, all the tests are steady. They gave us resistance which means we have resistor in it so the next thing is to do the um, LED test with this LED first I want to ensure this LED is working just for this so let's check that okay so so this LED needs above 3 volt to actually come up so I'm doubting it will be suitable for this plug right now I'm not sure this can deliver up to that okay It's bringing no light because I believe the, the LED needs more needs a higher kind of uh, voltage to light up so which this spark plug might not be able to produce right now you see so what I'll do is I'll pen this and I'll look for LED that can work with lower voltage Let, let's let's get that now with this little test i discovered that the led from a phone would actually need three volts and above to come on which indicates that for a spark plug to light up the led it must be producing at least three volts now the question is can a spark plug produce that much on its own what is the source of that three volts how does it maintain 3V all through its shelf and useful life without diminishing in value? I hope I can find answers to these questions. I believe that a spark plug cannot have that much voltage not to talk of maintaining it for a long time without any external source. Coating physics right now. So, I got a LED that can turn on with lower voltage which I tested with the battery having 2.18V. Unfortunately, I do not have a power supply that can give me one volt and below. See, what we have is 2.8 volts battery, 2.18 rather, 2.17. So let's try with this. See, it's coming up so this can actually this should actually come up for the spark plug so this one can work under a very low light 2.8 this one is not coming up with with this 2.8 volts 2.18 volts sorry but this one is can you see that can you see that so Let's uh, try our Iridium spark plugs again with this. Yes, this one is hanging. So I can use my hand to hold this part. And 
Again, it failed. The LED will not turn on. If a spark plug has some internal voltage, I'm not certain yet which of the current is it. I will normally believe that it should be a direct current DC as I don't know any technology that stores alternate current yet. But I stand to be corrected since this is a channel for us all to learn together. No light is coming up. So, guys, um, the resistance test was superb. All the plugs gave resistance about 5.6, 5.5 and above. Only one gave like uh, say 4.9 or so. And uh, but the LED test has failed again. I can assure you this is an original iridium spark plug. But nonetheless, um, whether the LED comes up or not, because uh, I've been able to demonstrate that. This particular LED will take three volts and above to actually light up, and I'm not sure this can actually produce that much if it's producing actually. And this is taking something below two two volts, right? So I still don't think this is producing that much. But let me try and see whether we can get a voltage out of this testing the spark plugs for the smallest amount of voltage be it dc or ac returns zero on the multimeter these plugs has no amount of charge in it just the resistor like the manufacturer claimed no this is producing no voltage not dc not ac so um Let's still go ahead and Despite the plugs not producing any footage to light up the LED or showing on the multimeter, I'm going ahead to set it up for electricity generation. This is just to give the final points except for an exception that can come up from you guys, which I'm eager to read in the comment section. For my previous videos about this topic, I have been named a villain, but I prefer to be called Velani if it is with weekly wages. Truth be told, I also need free energy or free electricity in my life. That is just by the way. By now, you must have all known the drill offhand. Get the plant, is the ground, secure the plugs on the plant with the glue, the set up the connections right? ground, and place yeah. a magnet, right? Central electrode, yeah. this is how you guys said the connection should be. Right, so is it? And that's that ground to central electrode, right? Is that fine? Well, here we go. After all the necessary connections done and accordingly, the moment of truth is here. First, these rectangle magnets. And the result was negative. You will remember this magnet from my previous two attempts. Well, the result seems to be the same. No electricity. Could the old speaker do the magic then? Well, until we try.
Guys, what is your conclusion right now? Right now, I have a division in my viewership. Those that believe this works and those that believe it doesn't. For those that believe it doesn't work, well, this is a safe destination for you all. And for those that believe it works, hmm, what are we missing here? I'm ready to go on with your suggestions and query. Please remember to subscribe and turn on your notification. And I want to beg you all to hold on on buying any more spark plugs, please. Just let me be your scapegoat. So, if you believe this actually works, we can chat it all up in the comment section below. And from there, we move. We move. The, the spark plug has a resistor. We're able to test for the resistance. The LED failed. This one. The second LED failed. And uh, I went ahead to try and see if it was going to give us electricity with your magnet, with the speaker, and everything. Nothing. I still get nothing. So something is still missing. For all of you that believe this works, what am I missing? What is missing here? Please comment below. For those of you that believe it doesn't work, well, I believe this will be like a conclusion for you right um let me have your comment in this comment section below and uh, let's get to the bottom of this together i'll see you in another one bye